My name is Antonia Schaeffer, and I work in the field of bone marrow transplantation. You and me, we are unique individuals. We are all unique individuals due to the diversity of our genetic material. This diversity plays a key role in bone marrow transplantation. The bone marrow is the place in our body where our blood cells are produced. This bone marrow can stop working correctly due to different types of cancer, known as blood cancer. For patients with blood cancer, one of the only curative therapy available is a bone marrow transplant. Here, cells from the bone marrow of a healthy donor are transfused into the patient, and these donor cells will then reconstitute a new healthy blood cell repertoire. Unfortunately, around 30% of these patients will experience relapse of their cancer after the transplant. And so we need to work on identifying strategies to prevent this disease to relapse. My strategy focuses on a specific cell that is part of our immune system and called natural killer cell. Natural killer cells are generated in the bone marrow. They reconstitute from the donor cells and they're able to recognize and kill patients' cancer cells. They can recognize these cells because they have located on their surface specific receptors that we call killer cell immunoglobulin-like receptors, or KIA for short. There are 15 different KIAs, and the genetic system of these receptors is built in a way to generate a lot of diversity between individuals. So you, for example, will not have the same type, neither the same number of KIAs than I have. The genetic variations that lead to this diversity have been a challenge to study. But for the first time, we are now able to identify these genetic variations using a new innovative sequencing technology. And so we can investigate whether donors with a specific combination of these receptors would be more likely to recognize and kill patients' cancer cells in comparison to other donors. So to test this hypothesis, we will use this new technology and characterize the genetic system of these receptors of a large cohort of transplant donors. We will then associate these informations with the transplant outcomes of the patients. And further, we will also analyze how and when these receptors reconstitute, as well as the functionality after the transplant to really broaden our understanding of the role of these receptors in transplantation. So for the future, we could implement the genetic screening of the cures as an additional criteria to select the best available donor for a recipient and thereby improve the overall survival of the patient.